Researching administrative law is difficult due to the multiple functions of federal and state agencies. Agencies make rules like legislatures and enforce these rules similar to courts. As a result, administrative law research involves a broad spectrum of materials, including sources like the Code of Federal Regulations, the Federal Register, and specific agency rulings. We will discuss agency rulings in another class, so for now we'll focus on the Code of Federal Regulations and the Federal Register. Let's say you have a client that owns a restaurant and wants to make sure that he gives his employees pro proper breaks and time off for meals. You may choose to begin your research using a secondary source on employment law, or you may look for federal statutes on, that are on point. Both of these methods will lead you to the relevant regulations. However, if you know that this is an area of law that is governed by regulations, you may choose to conduct your research in the Code of Federal Regulations. First, limit your database by clicking on Federal Materials, and then selecting the Code of Federal Regulations, or CFR. Now in the search box, type Employee Meal Break and hit search. Let's take a closer look at the first regulation listed, 29 CFR 785.19. Meal breaks are defined by this regulation. Under the text of the regulation, you will see the source note, which tells you where you can locate the original text of this regulation in the Federal Register and revisions, if applicable. Under the authority, you will see the statutory authority or enabling legislation for this regulation. In this case, the agency receives its authority from multiple statutes. Much like statutory annotations, you can find case law that has interpreted the regulation. Relevant Notes of Decisions gives you the cases from the full notes of decisions that contain your search terms. To find more cases that have interpreted this regulation, click on the Notes of Decisions tab at the top of the page. As you can see, there are 235 cases that have interpreted this regulation. To find sources that have cited this regulation, click on Citing References. To locate secondary sources that are on point, limit your results to secondary sources. And then you can further limit your results by selecting a type of secondary source. For example, click on ALR. You now have a list of four ALR annotations that cite your regulation. Click on the Document tab at the top of the page to return to the regulation. Because the CFR is arranged by subject, you will always want to check the table of contents to see if nearby regulations are also relevant. You can see that 29 CFR 785.18 relates to rest, which will help your client determine the required amount of break time he must give his employees. And that's how you find a regulation using the CFR in Westlaw Next.